Good afternoon, grade three. I hope all of you are staying safe and that you are all staying nice and healthy and washing those hands. Um, today I am filming. I'm no longer in Bali. Today I'm currently in the Philippines. I'm visiting my cousin for a couple days while, um, while I'm traveling around. So I am currently sitting in the Philippines visiting them. Um, I was so excited to see all the different uh, photos and getting to see all of your different papers with all your different rhythms and seeing some of you um, using the different sounds in your room to make different rhythmic musical sounds. See, we can use music even if we can't be in, the mu in, the, in our music classroom. Now today we're going to talk about ostinatos. Now we've talked about ostinatos a really, really long time ago, so we're going to review them again today. Now, what I need you to do is I need you to go grab a piece of paper and I need you to go grab a pencil, all right? One piece of paper and one pencil. I'll give you one minute to go and grab that, okay? Go. All right, so you should have one piece of paper and a pencil that we're going to use today during class, okay? Now, at the very top of your paper, I want you to write the word ostinato, which is spelled O-S-T-I-N-A-T-O. -O. Ostinato is spelled O S T I N. -A -T -O. A T O. Ostinato. I want you to write that at the very top of the page. Good. Now, I want you to write underneath, so now you've got your ostinato at the very top of the page. Underneath that, I want you to write a word, I want you to write the word guess. Guess is spelled G U E S S. Again, guess is spelled G-U-E-S-S. -S. Take a minute to write guess on your paper. All right, so you should have the word guess written here. Now here's what I want. I know we've talked about an ostinato, but it's been a really long time since we've talked about what an ostinato means. So next to guess, I'm gonna give you two minutes up on the clock. I'm gonna give you two minutes on our timer here. In those two minutes, what I would like you to do is I want you to think about what do you remember an ostinato what do you think an ostinato is? What do you remember? Do you remember what an ostinato is? And if you don't, I want you to take a guess. I want you to guess and see if you can think, what is an ostinato? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with the rhythms we were talking about last week in our online music class. So when you think about ta, ta di, ta, and sh, when you think about those rhythms, what did we do? What, what do you think they have to do and to create an ostinato? So I want you to think about this and next to guess, I want you to write down your guess. I'm gonna give you two minutes on the clock for you to finish. All right, here we go. On your marks, get set, guess.
All right. Now, if you haven't finished writing down your guess yet, I want you to t I want you to pause this video for right now, and I really want you to think, take some time to think and write down your guess. All right. So, for those of you that have come up with your guess, I want you to think about. I want you to read it one more time, just to be like, okay, this is what I think an ostinato is. So, read through your guess one more time. Great, now we're gonna write down the real definition. So what I would like you to write down underneath guess, I want you to write the word real, which is spelled R-E-A-L. Real again is spelled R-E-A-L. So next to real, I want you to write the real definition of an ostinato, which is a rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. A rhythmic, rhythmic is spelled R-H-Y-T-H-M-I-C. A rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. I'll give you one minute. I'll bring it a little bit closer so that way you can see how to spell. I'll bring it a little bit closer. I'll give you one minute to write down a rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. All right, so now you've written all of this, I want you to finish making your paper look just like mine. So at the bottom of your page, I want you to draw a line down the middle. On this side, I want you to say that it equals four. And also on this side, I also want you to say that it equals four. On the very right hand side, I would like you to put two lines and two dots, one right on top of the other. We'll talk about what this means in a minute. But I want you to write two lines and two dots on this side, one line down the middle, and on both sides of uh, the middle line, write down equals four and equals four. I'll give you one more minute to make your paper look just like mine. All right, so your paper should look like mine. If it doesn't, go ahead and pause the video so that way you can finish making your paper look just like mine, okay? Now, we're gonna put this paper and we're gonna put it off to the side. We're gonna learn an ostinato that goes along with a new chant that we're going to learn today. So, our ostinato that we're gonna take a look at is number two down here. We're gonna take a look at number two. So this first one is a ta. Let's look just at the rhythms. This first one is a ta. The second one is a ta, and the third one is a ta. So this first four beat pattern is gonna sound like this. Ta, ta, ta. Maybe a little bit faster. Ta, ta, ta. Give it a try. 
Good. The second 4B pattern is exactly the same. Ta, ta, ta. Give it a try. Good. Now if we put it all together, it'll sound just like this. Repeat after me. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Now it's your turn. Excellent. Now this right over here, I had you write two lines and two dots. This over here is something in music that we like to call a repeat sign. Again, it's a repeat sign. What that means is when you see this sign, you go all, you do all the way to the sign and then you, um, and then you repeat all the way back to the beginning and you repeat it all over again. So for example, if I'm going to use this repeat sign, it would sound like this. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. So let's try doing it all together. We're gonna repeat three times. We're gonna do this three times in a row. Are you ready? One and two and here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Very good. Now, this ostinato, because we're going to put it with a chant, it has words that I've written in red at the bottom. So what the words sound like, the words say, I love school. So if we put the words, I love school, with our rhythm, it'll sound like this. I love school. I love school. So give it a try. We're going to do it three times in a row with our repeat. Are you ready? Here we go. One and two, and here we go. I love school, 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 I love school. Well done. All right, so now we're still gonna use this ostinato, but I'm gonna put my paper down. So I'm gonna use my hands to show you the different words for it. So for the ta's, I'm gonna do a nice little heart with my hands. For, for the ta, I'm going to point to myself. So when we add the words in, it'll look like this. I love school. I love school. Let's try that three times in a row. Here we go. One and two and here we go. I love school. 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 Well done. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, or I'm going to say the chant for you. So right now what I want you to do is just listen. You're going to stay nice and quiet. You're just going to listen to what the chant is. This chant is called What I Learned at School. It's all about what we learned at school today. So just listen to our chant. At school, I've learned a lot of things I really like to do, like running in the hallway and eating lots of glue. I've learned I'm good at making pencils dangle from my nose. I've learned to hum and pop my gum. I practice and it shows. All right, so that's the chant that we're going to be doing our ostinato with. So, just like I was doing my hands before, this time, I'm not going to say the words. You're going to say the words, I love school, when you follow my hands. They're going to help you to say the right words for the different, uh, for the ostinato. And I'm going to say the chant that I was just, that I just, uh, that I just said to you. Okay, let's give it a try. Ready? One and two. And here we go. At school, I learned a lot of things I really like to do, like running in the hallway and eating the gobs of glue. I've learned I'm good at making pencils dangle from my nose. I've learned to hum and pop my gum. I practice and it shows. Well done. Good job, grade three. Now, now it's your turn. So what I'd like you to do is we're going to go back to our papers that we were writing, that we were looking at earlier. What I would like you to do, this is going to be your homework for next week, is you're going to write two four-beat patterns that are going to be your ostinato. You're going to create an ostinato that we're going to use next week 
for a chant that we're going to learn next week. So for your homework, what I would like you to do is write two four beat patterns, just like we did last week, using ta, toddy, ta, and sh, just like last week. So writing two four beat patterns that are going to repeat over and over and over again for our ostinato for our chant next week. Now, for those of you that want to know, I'm not gonna tell you the chant today, but the theme of our chant next week is going to be sneezing. <laughs> Just like that, we're gonna talk about where it's going to be a chant all about sneezing next week. So, what I would like you to do is make sure you get your two four beat patterns, just the rhythms, just the rhythms, don't worry about words right now. Um, I want you to write both of those down and save this paper so we can use it for next week. Now, if mom and dad can please take a photo, if you can please ask mom and dad to please take a photo and send it either to me via Class Dojo or you can send it to me via email so that way I can see that you've completed your two four bead patterns. All right, grade three, I will see you next week. I hope you all stay healthy and keep washing those hands and I will see you next week. Goodbye.